Hey, what's going awesome in life? This is Jackie, your sales innovator and influence coach. Now, I've just successfully completed uh, day one of a two-day workshop. It's known as uh, Pitching Like a Pro and Negotiate More Effectively. So in this program, uh, we touch on one of the most uh, important tools that you would probably need when it comes to negotiating with your counterparts. And this tool is known as the Perceptual Positions. Perceptual Positions. Now, what does it mean? Now, it means to say if you're able to step into the shoes of your counterpart, all right, uh, and being able to understand things from the different perspectives. Now, I truly believe that in every situation that we are in, we're able to look at the situation from different uh, lenses. Now, the first position is what we term as the I position, which is what do you view about the situation? So, when we're negotiating with a counterpart, it's therefore important for us to ask ourselves, hey, what is it that I truly want out of the negotiation? Hey, what are some of the compromises, for example, that I'm willing, uh, I'm prepared to make? Now, only when you have clarity as to what you want to achieve, the intention of that negotiation. Now, this is where I want to move from the I position into the you position and ask myself, hey, you know what, if I were to step into the shoes of my customers, and that's what that separates uh, good negotiators from great negotiators. Because while good negotiators focuses on getting what they want, the great negotiators now goes a step further and tries to understand, now what is it that their counterparts want? And because if I'm able to step into the shoes of my customer and empathize with them, now that allows me to be able to negotiate more effectively. Now because I'm able to understand uh, what, for example, are uh, some of the, uh, the bottom line, what are the key things that uh, they are pursuing, their goals that they want to achieve. However, now here's where things get really interesting because beyond the I and the U position, there's a third position which is known as the day position. Now, what is this day position? Now, if you could just step out, even from your position, how you view that negotiation process and your counterpart's position, perceptual position, and step into a third party position, someone who's detached and uh, someone who is just an observer. Now, very often, you'll be amazed to realize you know, uh, you're able to see things that you wouldn't be able to see if you were stuck in position number one and position number two. So ask yourself, you know, if I, would be look, if I were to look at this whole process from a third party's point of view, what kind of advice would I give to myself so that I can negotiate more effectively with my counterpart? So that's all I have for you. Uh, it's a very simple strategy here, but as you learn, to see things from different perspectives, practice perceptual positions. I truly believe you're on your way to becoming an even more impactful negotiator. This is Jackie signing off right here.